Hello. So welcome to Nairobi. Welcome to set of the map 2024. Oh, I'm so excited. Hope everyone is having the same excitement as me. But yeah, I don't want to take any more time. So I'm just going to welcome uh, Laura, Walter, and uh, Christine on stage to uh, take us through the opening session. Thank you, and welcome to Nairobi once again. Hello. Good morning. You are all looking lovely. You're looking good. Trust me, I'm super excited. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyone who doesn't know my name? Oh, that is sad news. But glad enough I'm here, so I will be introducing myself. My name is Walter. Walter Mayeku. I'm the community coordinator of OSM Kenya. Ta-da! <laughs> Yeah, it's me. <laughs> yeah, uh, again, I hope you, I know, I hope you had a good experience from the airport, well, from the moment you touched airspace for Kenya until you landed at the airport. We know we can't control the air, but at least we are here. So we will control here, right? You and I, we are going to help each other have a su successful conference, and we are going to have a good time. I believe so, uh, because we've been planning this for a while, and we know that it's going to be the best uh, set of the map conference. I hope you guys are excited like I am. Right, so uh, right now I want to welcome um, Laura to give us the directions around this place. Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry. Uh, hi, I'm Laura, and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess I'd say I'm, I'm a handy person at OSM Kenya. Uh, I do anything that I'm assigned. But while at the University of Nairobi for the conference, uh, things to note is that uh, we have several conference rooms plus the foyer that's down below. So this is the main auditorium. Uh, what the oh. name? Masai Mara. Masai Mara. And then we have the foyer below where we'll have the, um, our tea breaks and our lunches. And then on fourth floor below the foyer is where we'll have our breakout rooms. Um, so just to take note of that, we're using the fourth, fifth, and sixth floor. Uh, but on all those, we have labels. So um, you should see that uh, in case you're looking for a room. Then we also have some posters on the foyer and also some just outside where the sponsors are. So we have around 20 of those also. Uh, take some time during the UT breaks to have a look at those. They are having amazing projects that have been displayed there. Then for sanitation toilets, we have those um, uh, on all floors, but we'll be using the ones on the fifth and sixth floors. Why specifically those ones? Uh, those, that, those ones have sort of items to use, and the fourth floor is accessible to students, so they're not stocked out. So please use those on the fifth and sixth floor. Then next thing, security, uh, please take care of your items. Don't leave them hanging around. Um, but also we have uh, additional security just uh, keeping us protected. So I guess if you're a bit nervous, you can let that go. <laughs> then last thing, notice boards. We have a notice board on the info desk. So if you have any announcements, any job ads uh, that you'd like to share with the community, please uh, visit the notice board to share that. Um, yeah. Ah. Thank you, Laura. Uh, I think uh, uh, a lot of people know Laura, right? Please tell me you know her. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Ta-da! This is Laura. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, again, we want to just mention that we are having volunteers on the ground. So, uh, I think you've already encountered some of them. Just maybe a few things to mention is, uh, uh, yes, volunteers are wearing the black T-shirt. Well, I'm also a volunteer, so I will wear mine, so don't worry. <laughs> and mostly they are the local OSM Kenya members, so they know most details about the university. If you need anything, please find someone in a black T-shirt. And they also have uh, this um, written on uh, OSM Kenya or some um, right 
you can but you cannot use the black t-shirts so they can help you in uh, accessing anything that you need also if you need any information you can check the website and sorry apologies about the wi-fi i i hope you have it but we're also going to get some uh, the password the logins uh hanged on the wall around you so you can simply go in and log in using the universe of nairobi wi-fi yes uh also we have a telegram group Please, if you have any question or you need any information, you can go there, you can share, we can quickly respond. We have people in every group. Then we have the info desk right at the entrance. You have any other question, please reach there. We are also having coordinators for the volunteers. I would like to mention them. We have Geoffrey. Geoffrey, please stand. Clap for him. We have Hawa. What is Hawa? She's here. You need any question, reach out to her. And then we have Priscilla. She's inside or outside? Oh, okay. Well, let's clap for her. Priscilla, receive your claps. Yeah, for doing an awesome job. Yeah. Uh, Laura, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, so while we are at Set of the Map, uh, obviously uh, the role of events and conferences is for us to meet each other and learn from each other. So I guess uh, during the process, please uh, meet some new people. I uh, don't just talk with the people you came with. <laughs> meet some people, make some conversations. Uh, hopefully, good things come out of that. Uh, but while we are doing that, uh, we have a code of conduct. Uh, please, the code of conduct is not a suggestion. Uh, <laughs> should be at the end, too. You can check the website to have a look at it. And uh, in case you encounter any issues, we have a code of conduct uh, sort of subcommittee. Uh, and that's made up of Christine, uh, Geoffrey, and Walter. So if you have any issues, you can reach out to all of, uh, either the three. Uh, please report in case you are uncomfortable and uh, you have something to, that you need help with. Uh, but I'll also invite Christine to share something about the Code of Conduct as well. <laughs> I, I'm not prepared to this question, but I can tell if if any you feel uncomfortable with anything, you, please come and tell, and we try to help you. Again, as usual, if you don't know who Christine is, ta-da! <laughs> She's our chair person for the global set of the map committee. Meet Christine. And then this is the other very important part, I know. Uh, yeah? Please don't look sad. <laughs> this is very important, and ve I'm very happy, and we really appreciate these are our sponsors. They made this successful as well. As much as you guys came, they are our driving force to push us going and, and supporting us to have this happening. And therefore, we want to appreciate Microsoft Please, a round of applause for them. We have TomTom, uh, Tom, a round of applause for them. We have Esri on the ground. We have Meta, and then we have Geofabric. Let's keep on clapping for them. We have Hot. I know, I know. They supported us by bringing uh, some good number of participants here as well. Yeah, and then uh, I understand that uh, Tom Tom have something interesting they want to do, right? Right? Please take the stage. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the State of the Map Global Conference in Nairobi. Um, yeah, it's really amazing to see so many familiar faces and plenty of new ones here in Nairobi. And I will introduce myself because you didn't falter. <laughs> so for the ones of you who don't know me, my name is Hajar and I'm the Community and Partnership Manager for Africa and Middle East region at TomTom. Tom. And I'm very glad to be here and to represent TomTom Tom at this incredible event. So, um, at TomTom, Tom, our goal is straightforward, is to make the world safer, connected, autonomous, and free of congestion and emissions. We do this by creating precise maps, navigation tools, and real traffic time information. 
But we know that this mission isn't something we can accomplish alone. That's why we are so proud to be part of the OpenStreetMap community and working alongside all of you to build something that is um, truly special. And after all, like we say at TomTom, it takes the word to map the world. So as I'm speaking now, you are seeing some photos from our events with various OSM communities across the world, along with feedback from some community member. But these aren't just images and words, they are stories that highlight the heart and soul of what we do. We've been involved with OpenStreetMap since 2021, and let me tell you that there is nothing like the energy and commitment of this community. You're not just mapping streets and landmarks, you are mapping the very essence of our global communities. And at TomTom, Tom, we deeply value that and we are committed to supporting this work in every way we can, because we believe that together we can create um, not only accurate maps, but also um, maps that is rich with the details that you are bringing. So, and this brings me to why our partnership with OpenStreetMap is so important. Uh, it's built on a shared vision for the future, a future where every community is represented, every voice is heard, and every place is mapped with care. We've been so lucky to work with some incredible local OSM communities, youth mapper chapters, and also students and government sectors who were open to learn more about OpenStreetMap. And these have just shown us just how powerful we can be when we join forces. It's not just about technology, it's about um, the connections we make and the stories we tell through um, our maps. And that's what makes State of the Map a uh, very special conference. It's not just a conference about technology, maps, and data. It's more about the people behind the maps, people like me and you who bring knowledge and passion to every map created. And this is what um, resonates deeply with TomTom because it's what drives us in our work every day. We understand the importance of maps, not just as tools, but also as representations of community and connections. And the testimonials you are seeing now are proof of the impact we can have when we work together. Um, so yeah, as we kick off this session, I would like to welcome each and every one of you for being here. Uh, on behalf of TomTom, Tom. we are so proud to be here as a platinum sponsor and also as a partner of OpenStreetMap uh, community. So enjoy the event and let's make this an unforgettable experience. Thank you. All right, so uh, thanks, thanks, Haja, thanks, TomTom. Tom. Um, so what then to expect? Uh, by the way, how many of us are attending State of the Map for the first time? Oh, really? <laughs> okay, that's, that's a huge number, but I guess uh, a good thing. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess to give some background information, I think you skipped that because we were nervous. <laughs> but uh, the State of the Map conference is a conference built around the OpenStreetMap project. And out of the 20 years that uh, OpenStreetMap has existed, um, we've actually had 16, this is the 16th state of the map conference. And they've happened uh, all over the world. And this is the first time it's being hosted in, uh, within the African continent. Uh, <laughs> um, which, which is a good thing. Uh, obviously came with its own round of challenges and opportunities, uh, which I guess we can discuss more during the conference period. Uh, but if this is your first time, I really hope you enjoy the conference. Uh, if you're starting contributing to uh, OpenStreetMap, I really hope you get into it. Uh, I think for some of us, uh, we really uh, got into volunteering after attending a set of the map conference. Uh, but what to expect during the sessions, we have um, talks and workshops. So talks are a little bit shorter around 20 minutes with uh, an additional 10 minutes for Q&A, and workshops are a bit, little bit longer and they're more hands-on. Um, and then we also have an academic track on the last day, 
as a contrast. So all, all things to do with the research around uh, using uh, and also contributing to OpenStreetMap. And then we also have room for self-organized sessions and lightning talks. We have an entire room set out for that. So if you didn't get a chance to uh, submit your proposal to present, or even if it was not accepted, uh, can still put it in and have a <laughs> self-organized session, please sign up at the info desk for this. And then we also have social events uh, uh, at the end of today and also tomorrow at Bowbox. Yeah, uh, Laura mentioned something that maybe we were nervous, but my answer is we were saving the best for the last. Yeah, I know that is smooth, right? Mm. Yes, and still the best for the last. Uh, this is our sincere apologies. I know. Uh, I was supposed to start with that. No, I say this is the best, which comes last. Yeah, so uh, we know we've been keeping you for a little longer, right? And OSM Kenya as the host, we sincerely ask that you forgive us <laughs> for keeping you waiting for a little bit. Uh, we were supposed to start exactly at 10, but we noticed that it's already past 10 uh, due to some technical uh, issues here and there. This is the university and still used by students. So, you know, the conflicts of, super, I know we have professors here, you know, chasing a professor from my lecture hall can be very interesting. He will ask you, do you have any degree to chase me from your hall? <laughs> yeah, uh, but thank you for your patience. And yes, now the very best <laughs> and the very last before we exit the stage, we want to welcome, I want you to, uh, no, I want to welcome Christine to, because she hasn't had a chance to, <laughs> then she can welcome our first speaker for the day. Yeah. Yeah.